Alma's recipe here. Today I'm going to teach you a recipe that you guys been requesting, which is mole. And it's a little hard to make it because it needs a lot of ingredients. Today I'm gonna make it Alma's way and I'm gonna make it as easy as possible for you guys. So vamos a empezar. You need two pounds of chicken bread, four drums, eight chile pasillas, three chiles California, half an onion, six garlics, one teaspoon of cumin, three all spices, three cloves, one teaspoon of whole black pepper. You need the first layer of the cinnamon. Between seven to eight tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of salt, two ounces of pepitas, four ounces of sesame seeds, two ounces of peanuts, one ounce of pecans, half a banana, one tablet of chocolate de la abuelita, two tortillas, six cups of water. You will need a blender, two pots, and a pan. All right guys, I already have six cup of water here, so I'm gonna warm it up. I'm gonna leave it in high heat, and let's move out to prepare the chicken. So I have my bread here, so I have two breads. So I'm just gonna cut it in, in three pieces, and that's it. All right, so I have my water here. What I'm just gonna do is just add in my chicken. This is my breast, the chicken legs. I'm only using four. You can use as many or less if you want. Just wanted to add plenty of meat to the mole. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of salt, half an onion, four garlics, and I'm gonna just let it cook for 40 minutes, medium heat, and we're gonna start moving, preparing our seasons. So I have my chicken going, now I'm gonna start preparing my chili. So I have four cup of water here. And I'm gonna start letting heat up, so I'm gonna go and move on to prepare my chilies. All right, so we're gonna cut the top, always. And we are going to take the seeds. So we're gonna open it here in half, and just open it. If you don't want it that spicy, cut the beans. But if you like it a little bit, just leave it. But the thing that we do want to is just to take the seeds. We cut it in half. We put it there. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. Always cut the stem, cut it in half. The same thing. We just wanna just wanna get all the seeds. And if you don't take every single seed, doesn't really matter because when you start boiling, all the seeds will gonna start coming apart, coming up. I already prepared my chiles and I already have my water warm, so I'm just gonna put it in here in the warm water. I'm just gonna leave it for 10 minutes because the water is already really warm, so we don't need that much. And we're just gonna leave it in there. I also wanted to show you something. You see this chicken is not really touching the water, so I'm just gonna move it and turn it around so we'll all cook. So just make sure once in a while you'll just come in and stir, make sure everything is cooking in the same way. So I'm gonna use two tortillas and I'm gonna fry it and I'm just gonna cut a little square. So what I'm gonna do, just cut it in half. Fold it, cut it as little as you want, or as big as you want, but it's more like little because we are going to fry it and we don't want to use a lot of oil. So just gonna cut it like that. So after I have it, I'm just gonna put it here on my pieces. And since I'm already here, I'm gonna already um, cut my banana and I only need half of it. So I'm gonna peel it. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. And this is not well right, which is better. And the only thing that I'm gonna do is just cut it in half. That should be plenty. My chile has been cooking for 10 minutes, and how do you know that chile is done? You see it's a little hydrator, so that's how it's supposed to be. It doesn't really matter because our chicken is still gonna be cooking for a while. And to this point, what, what we wanted to do is just turn it off. It's done. And we are going to leave it in there. This is how my chicken uh, is cooking, so it's been probably like 20 minutes. So in the meantime, we are going to use our time wise. So we are going to keep moving to fry all our peanuts and nuts and all the stuff. So let's move on. But I'm gonna start first with the tortillas, of which I'm gonna use one tablespoon here for my tortillas. So I'm gonna let it warm up, keep it like maybe like one minute. And I'm gonna be using a bowl so I can put all my ingredients. So I have it right here, ready when I need it. So it's ready. So I'm gonna start frying my tortillas and I'm just gonna add it. And I'm not going to use enough lot of oil because, you know, me, I don't, I try to use as less oils as possible, but a lot of Mexican food, they have a lot of oil. So we're just gonna fry this one, make it kind of like toast, kind of like a chips, that's what we're going for. Okay, so my tortilla's been cooking for three minutes. I thought it would take two, but it actually was three minutes. It all depends about your pan, you know, in the stove, how, how uh, fast will heat. 
The way you know how the tortillas are done, you see how they change color, they kind of leave a toaster, so that's kind of the way we want it. So this is done, so I'm just going to add it to my bowl, and now I'm going to move it to my garlic and my onions. And I'm not going to use a tablespoon, I'm going to use a teaspoon. Just going to add one. I have my onions already here, which I already kind of chopped it. So I'm going to fry my onions. And I'm going to fry my garlic, two garlic. Because okay, so I have four in the chicken and two fried. And I only use a quarter and an onion, medium onion, not too much, just a little bit. All right, guys, so my onions and garlic, they've been cooking for two minutes. I hope you can see the difference between how they look before and how they look now. So these ones are done. One tablespoon of oil. Now I'm going to fry my sesame seeds. Four ounces of sesame seeds. I'm going to add it there. I'm just going to stir. Probably just this one. I'm just going to leave it for two minutes. Not very long. Just going to keep stirring always. Fry this one for two minutes, so this is done. Um, this one you cannot really tell how much the difference, but just only do it for two minutes and it's done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just put it in my my bowl, and it still has a lot. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get, grab a paper napkin, and I'm just gonna clean the pan really well. I don't want anything in here, so I don't want it to burn. Be really careful, you don't burn yourself. I am going to use now another. A uh, tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna add it. So these ones are cold pepitas, means it's pumpkin seeds, and we are going to use two ounces of this one. Probably this one maybe takes two or three minutes, so we'll see how it is. I don't need any of these seeds in my spoon either, so I'm gonna just clean it up. Alright guys, so I'm going to keep stirring this one. You got to be careful because if you uh, keep continuing to move in, it's going to pop and might be able to burn. But just continue moving. You, you, you will not have any problem if you continue to move it. The way you know it is done, if you can see and it has changed a little bit of color, a little brown, a little gold. So that's perfect. So we're done with that. In my bowl, I'm just only going to use one teaspoon. It's a little less oil. And I am going to fry now my peanuts. I have two ounces of peanuts here. Do the same thing. Maybe it takes like two minutes, three minutes. No more than three minutes for sure. Alright guys, my peanuts have been cooking for three minutes. And you see how they change color? They're a little brown, a little gold. So that's what we want. Pour it in my bowl. Don't need that no more. One teaspoon of oil. Pecan. Hopefully just for two minutes. Put it in there, don't be afraid, just keep stirring too. And this one you're not going to be able to tell the different mass, so just keep moving. We only have one ounce of uh, pecans, not many, very little, but plenty to give it good flavor. Alright guys, so this has been like um, one minute and a half, I'm not going to let it two minutes. As you can see it has a little bit brown on the sides and I don't want to go like burning. I'm just going to put it in my bowl. And I think the last thing we need is the bananas. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon for the bananas. It's half a banana and I only cut it in half, so we'll see how that goes. I turned on a little bit of flame because it was a little too hot, but I think it takes like one minute each size and one minute the other one. So here's my banana. It's brown one size and brown the other side, so it's perfect. And we are going to the last part. At this point, we're going to lower a little bit of heat. I don't need much. We have one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of black pepper, three cloves, three all spices, and a little bit of cinnamon, just the first layer of the cinnamon. And we always want um, the stick, we don't want powder, we want the real cinnamon. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it in here with the last oil I have. This one we're not going to leave it very long, very just like maybe one minute. Mole is always used only for wedding, a special occasion, weddings, quinceañeras. Um, because it's a little hard to make it, not everybody knows how to make mole. So this one is just probably less than a minute. I'm going to take it out, turn out my stove, don't need it no more. I'm going to add it to my bowl here. And I wanted to make sure I take every single thing, put it in there. And I have everything here. I turn on my stove. I don't need it no more. My chicken is done. It's been cooking for 45 minutes. And I'm just going to turn it off to this point. And I'm also done with this thing at the same time. So that's fabulous.
fabulous. I mean, you see, everything is here, all the ingredients we need. From this point, we can a blender. So my chicken is done. Be careful, it's really hot. If you wanna let it cool down, you can. So I'm gonna take my chicken, let it put in there, so let it cool down. And I am thinking everything out of here because I'm gonna use the broth to blend my chili and my condiments. They're right there. I'm gonna take my garlic, this in size, and I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna use um, six garlics in my onion, so I'm gonna just put my onions there too. I'm gonna use it as well. So this is really hot. If you prefer to let it cool down, you are welcome to do that. It does not affect anything. So I have my chicken broth here. If you guys wanna check it out and see, it has like a little bit things that the chicken come out. I'm gonna just juice this one. If you don't have it, it's fine. You don't have to. I'm just gonna do these because I'm gonna use this one. I have my chicken and I have my chicken bra where I'm gonna use to blend my chili and here's my chili and here is my nuts. I'm gonna get my blender. I'm gonna just put half of the spices. Sometimes they're a little heavy in the blender so I don't wanna put it all on. I'm just gonna put half of it. And that should be plenty. And I'm gonna divide my chili in half too. So what I'm gonna do, half in here, I hopefully be half, doesn't really have to be exactly the same. And I'm gonna put the other half here. And I am no longer need this one, so I'm gonna just as possible. One one cup here. So there's two cups, and I have my chocolate, mi cho chocolate de la abuelita. Very good. So we're gonna use one uh, tabla. Right now we only gonna use half. You can break it. To this point, we're not gonna use any salt because we already have plenty of salt in the chicken breast. I forgot to add the second cup, so I'm just gonna put it in there. Stand lower. I um, already did the first batch, and that's how it's supposed to look. It's a little thick. I could have add another cup of water, but I didn't, so that's okay. I'm gonna be using all the, the chicken breast, so I'm gonna just put it in there. Put everything in there. So there's one. And I'm putting my chocolate in my other half. And I put in two cups. And here's my last chicken broth. So I'm gonna just blender this one for a minute. So this one be the third cup. It has very good consistency, as you can see. It's still really thick, and that's what I want. We don't want it too watery. I am going to just half a cup of water. What I'm gonna do, so I don't waste a lot of this thing. Just gonna... And I'm gonna add it here. You see, I still have very good consistency. What I That's what I want. And it's still gonna get a little bit thicker when we uh, cook it. It may seem, I used to have a lot of condiments that all comes to be one. And it has the more amazing flavor. So I'm gonna take my legs and I'm just gonna put it here. And if you don't want to add the fat, you can remove it. And I'm just gonna take the skin. I only have four, but you can add a little more, or you can add a little less if you wish. I'm just gonna cut in little pieces, so. Not too big, not too small. So when you eat the mole in every bite, you have like a little piece of chicken. And I wanna prepare my chicken now because as soon as I start cooking my mole, I'm gonna have to stir it the whole time. Not too big, but plenty. This recipe should probably feed like six or eight people. So I already have my pan on, so I'm gonna heat it up. And I'm just gonna add three tablespoons of oil. This one, there's two, and there's Three. So we did use seven tablespoon of oil, and I'm trying to use as least oil as I could. But on special occasions, like when you do, you're not gonna do this every day, so be perfect. Let's do one more for minute and a half. I want you to see how the mole looks before and how it looks after. It's gonna change color. The way you know the mole is done, it's gonna come a little bit of grease. You remember I used seven spoon of oil and you can see it now. So it's gonna be cooking between 20 to 30 minutes. And right now you don't see any grease. But when I cook it, you will see it. And now I'm gonna lower the heat. It's already warm, but I'm gonna lower completely, let one minute. 
and the reason why is because when you have something hot like oil hot and then you put that in here it's gonna split over you and it's gonna burn you so I'm gonna just leave it another minute to let it cool down one um, scoop and I'm gonna move it okay so now I put my scoop it's not gonna splash anymore so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add it gentle and this one we have to be really careful so I have my flame really low. Now that I put my mole here and it's not flush, and I'm gonna raise the heat to medium heat. Okay, so now I have a uh, medium heat and we're gonna cook it between 30 minutes. So I'm gonna be stirring for 20 minutes. We don't wanna just leave it in there because it's gonna flush and it's gonna go all over and it's gonna make a big mess. <laughs> chicken when you have mole like that you can make enchiladas if you don't want to put the chicken you don't have to so I'm gonna add my my drums just remember that I only cook four so I'm just gonna add it with my heat lower because I don't want to splash all over me it'll be a big mess and I have my chicken bread here so I'm just gonna add it too so after I have my chicken here I'm gonna put my heat back in for a uh, medium heat for another 10 minutes and I still need to babysit the mold it really uh, close because we don't want to make a big mess. I just turned off my mole and as you can see I, I still make a little bit of mess. Not a lot of mess, which I think sometimes you're going to do a little bit this mess. But if you make more than this mess is you have the flame too high or you now stirring all the time babysitter in the molly which is where you can have to need it for the 30 minutes you're there all right guys so that's it for this video this is molly my recipe will probably feed six to eight people it's really good like just remember if you want to want to add the chicken you can make molly enchiladas it's really good i have faith in you guys that you guys can make it. it has really good flavor hopefully you guys try it hasta la vista